So if you haven't followed along so far, then you can just open the file provided for this tutorial. And what we've done so far is create slabs and walls. Now we're going to create windows and doors. So I added an elevation drawing here, which allows me to measure out the window types I need to create. And we're going to use the Blender BIM modifier first, then we'll use Archimesh and we'll look at how to use custom meshes as well. So let's create some windows. I need to activate my window tool. And here, since I have no windows available, I'll just write the name for a random one, press add type. Now with this wall selected, I'm gonna put my cursor anywhere for now and press shift A to add a window. This isn't too visible. So I'm gonna change this to matte cap and also add some cavity and set the type as both. Now I can see my edges quite well. Well, it seems like it's flipped, so I'm gonna flip it and also change its geometry. We'll go to geometric, uh, parametric geometry window. Then I'll edit these window properties and I already know what I need to have. It's 225 for the height and the overall width is 2.5. Now this window has been placed at one meter high and I need to drag it down to the correct elevation. I'll slide it G Y and it fits perfectly. Now, oops, shift G to refresh the opening. This window has no materials and we can't add any materials or styles at the moment without adding it to both the frame and the glazing. So soon enough, there'll be a way to add materials separately to both the glazing and the frame, etc. For the moment, there isn't, so just be patient. I'll also change my aligning offset to be zero, or actually minus 0 0.01, just the thickness of my painting. And I'd like my lining depth to be 0 0.09 as well. So that's my whole wall thickness. Now I can just move this window manually here. GX, GX. Yep, that looks flush, but I need to move it minus 0 0.01 up. Shift G to refresh. And now we are good our window is placed on the inside. Well, perhaps I don't need this interior offset either. Lining to panel offset, zero and zero. Finish editing. Now that's the window I need. It's pretty simple. I forgot to change the type. It's a vertical and my mullion will be at 1.25. Finish editing. Okay, now let's see how we can do this with Archimesh. We'll do it in a separate project, so we'll open a separate Blender session. Then go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure you have Archimesh enabled. Then when you toggle the side panel, you'll see a Create uh, tab here, and you can then find Archimesh. And if we make this uh, plane bigger, we'll now add a panel window and I'll set the type as 50 by 50 so it looks as though this is the glazing uh, size so I need 60 overall and 225 in my height but there is 10 centimeters there so I'll just write 215 now I'll remove my sill and yeah, this looks about right. Now I'll press tab to edit this and press GX or GX like this, GY. So my openings will now be correctly created. Now, if I were to edit any of these dimensions, all of this will come back to its place and I need to redo it. So from this point onwards, it's no longer parametric. We'll create a blank metric project and here we'll go to object information. We'll look for window type. Window, okay. 
assign IFC class, it's disappeared. Now we'll toggle it again. And I'll go to geometry and materials under representations, we're going to add a plan view representation for our window. When we press plus, we have the option to either trace the outline, a bounding box or a full representation. I'll, I'll use the outline and press OK. It looks perfect. Now let's save this project, control S, created a folder called library. And here, I'll save this as windows.ifc. Now, when I go back to my project, I can go to um, project overview, project setup, project library, and I'll select the file I just created. Now I can choose to append the entire library. And since I only have one item, I'm just going to show you how to do it individually. You can also do it by query. So if I only wanted to append my windows out of a big file, I would have written IFC window. Okay. Now, let me select uh, this wall, I'll place my cursor there. And now I'll toggle in the type manager here, my window, let's also look at the active tool. Um, I'll press shift, add, and it's again at one meter high. So let me just change this by default to 0 0.1. Delete this window and just add it again. Then G Y. Okay, shift G to refresh. No, G Y is better in an elevation view. Then I'll do the same here. G Y and shift G to refresh. Now, if you want to learn how to create custom windows through mesh modeling, then I invite you to check out this wonderful video by the IFC architect. When you type in custom window IFC architect, you'll find this video, which explains it pretty neatly. So I'm not going to actually finish, I'm just going to create a door as an example now. So let me hide this slab. And I'll look for a door here. Okay. Now I don't have doors. So I'll, I'll toggle my door tool. And I'll add DT01, add IFC door type. Then my door type will be just again, a random door. And we'll again have the same problems with materials for the moment. But just be patient. So again, scene geometry and materials, you'll find a door sub panel that pops up under parametric geometry. You can change your swings, you can change everything. Right.